Jamming with Dr. Terry, where JAM stands for Jesus and Me. Hi, I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Children, I know Christmas is over now. It's time to take down the tree, put away the gifts, and start thinking about the new year. But wait, not yet. God still has gifts to share with us. Remember our memory verse for the month from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. When everyone was waiting for God's promise of Jesus, the angels told the shepherds that Jesus was born and that he would bring peace. So you know that Jesus is our counselor, right? We can talk to him about anything at all. He's also our mighty God. He's strong, he's powerful, and nothing at all is impossible for him. He's our everlasting father. That means his love for us will never, ever end. And he's our prince of peace. That means that even though we will sometimes have hard times and sometimes sad times, if we bring our troubles and our worries to God, he will bring us peace. Everybody worries sometimes. We get nervous about the test. Or we're scared because our mom and dad, they're arguing and fighting. Or maybe we're afraid of a bully. Guess what? Even adults worry about things sometimes. Sometimes we pray about something that worries us and God will bring us peace immediately on the outside. He takes away the thing that we're anxious or worried about. This is an example. It's like when you're in class and everyone's talking, talking, talking at the same time. It's so noisy and it seems out of control. Then the teacher will come in and she'll give some kind of a signal or do something that makes everyone stop talking. Then all of a sudden it's quiet again. The talking stopped. Life doesn't always work that way though. Sometimes the things that worry us, they keep happening and we just wish they would stop. In those times we can still have peace. It's sort of like these headsets. These are the noise counseling ones. So that means that even if it's noisy all around us, I can put these headphones on and the noise seems like it stops. Although it's going on all around me, I can't hear it and I'm peaceful inside. You see, when you trust God, you can have peace inside also. No matter what happens, we can pray to God and he will give us peace. You might say a prayer sort of like this, for example. God, I'm trusting you with this test. Help me to remember everything I studied so I can do my best. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you can pray like that and really, really mean it, you'll probably start to feel some sort of God's peace inside of you. Why? Because you're letting God take control of the things that worry you. Praying about the things that worry us, it's really a good job. It's a good idea to do that because God can help us. Sometimes he takes away things that we're worried about. But other times, instead of taking the things away that worry us on the outside, God will help you to feel better inside. So remember, when you trust God with the things that worry you, sometimes he'll bring peace on the outside, just like when your teacher stops the noise by putting the class to silence. And other times, he works a bit like these headphones. He'll bring you peace on the inside, inside of you. So that although the world seems like it's going crazy all around you, because we're trusting God's love, we have peace inside. 
So if God's got everything under control, you can relax. You can be peaceful. Children, I encourage you to trust Jesus to handle at least one challenge that's going on in your life this week. No matter what it is, if you tell Jesus all about it, you will find rest and peace in him. Why? Because he's our Prince of Peace. Thank you for joining me today, children. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.